हरे कृष्णा आवर टंग इज लाइक अ लोडेड गन दैट वी ऑलवेज कैरी विद इन अस कंसिडर सपोज दैट वी आर हैविंग अ गन विथ अस ऑलवेज and suppose it's a very powerful gun it's a assault vehicle assault gun automatic assault gun which can and ca- uh, ca- kill a lot of people now if somebody is carrying such a gun they have to be extremely responsible that they don't uh, abuse it or that nobody else triggers them and then they uh, abuse it because it can cause catastrophic damage now uh, we all carry such a gun not just with us but within us and that gun is our tongue on our tongue uh, uh, can be loaded the bullets of harsh words and such harsh words can break people's hearts krishna says in the bhagavad gita 16.4 that harsh speech characterizes the ungodly people दंभो दर्पो अभिमान क्रोध पारुष्यमेव अज्ञान चाभिजात पार्थ संपद मसुरी पारुष्य पारुष्य मीन्स हार्श स्पीच सो अनगॉडली पीपल डिलइट इन हार्श स्पीच समटाइम्स सम पीपल एक्चुअली डिलइट इन हर्टिंग अदर्स एंड स्पीकिंग इट्स सच सर्कैजम दैट दे कैन दैट द मोर पेन दे कॉज टू अदर्स द मोर जॉय दे गेट however this can backfire because people can become lifelong enemies and one verbal wound that we may have inflicted may cause us lifelong regrets because of the ramifications that may come up so we need to be very responsible about how we use our tongue now with our tongue we may even offend great souls and that can also have catastrophic consequences so the tongue is like a loaded gun so recognizing this we can look at the bhagavad gita's guideline for austerity of speech it says in 7.17.15 anudvega karam vakyam satyam priya hitam chayat swadhyaya bisanam chaiva vanmayam tapa uchyate vanmayam tapa that austerity of speech means anudvega karam vakyam consider the impact of the word that we are going to speak as it is said have your ears heard what your tongue has spoken make sure that our words should not agitate others we should try to give others peace of mind not take away their peace of mind satyam that doesn't mean we pamper them with uh, flattery and untruth satyam we speak the truth but priyam speak it in a palatable way hitam in a beneficial way and swadhyaya besanam chaiva if we learn to recite scripture regularly uh, that contact with transcendence through the sound of scripture will purify our tongue of its tendencies to shoot wildly and thus we will be able to better practice austerity of speech so by knowing that our tongue is like a loaded gun we can use it for its power constructively sometimes guns are necessary to shoot down offenders and invaders so similarly our words can be used to dissipate people's illusions but if we are uh, if we are careless sometimes innocent people can be shot with a gun so similarly people may be innocent and we may we may mistake them we may just be ignorant and we may mistake them to be malevolent and if we instead of shooting people's illusions start shooting spiritual shooting people's spiritual aspirations means instead of countering their misconceptions if we condemn them by our words then we alienate them and we can do even spiritual violence so knowing that our tongue is like a loaded gun we need to learn to use it with extreme caution thank you hare krishna